Okay, I'm looking at snap here. I want to short it at 53. Stop loss is going to be a close above the 9. Though there has been, looks like now it's a refresh uh, hidden buyer here at 55. He keeps showing up, and then on this move he disappeared, and then I guess he's back again now. But I still want to be in this trade if it gets the 53. What just happened? I can't even use a market order. What is that? Well, I guess I'm not in this trade. Okay, Planet has a ascending triangle going on right now. I want to do 300 shares if it gets above 30. And it got the 301 and pulled back pretty hard here. But now with the 20 underneath it, it looks like it's got some pretty good support. Might end up getting up there. It's at an all-time high right now. I actually... Sector's not really doing anything to help right now. I mean, profit target really. Really don't have a profit target. I mean, this thing could go, go as far as it wants to. It's at an all time high. Actually, kind of making a triangle right now. If you look at it like that, got a bull flag. Could short it, come back to view at, but I like it for a long much more. So want to do this because it looks kind of spready. Might make a difference on if I get filled or not. Well, if it gets back up, we'll see what happens. Okay, looking at TTWO, might be finally starting to fail to move higher, so I'd like to take it short. Risk is going to be about 40 cents here. 
Oh, Big Buyer just showed up, though. I'd like to be in at 70 uh, profit target. First profit target's gonna have to be the whole number. I mean, this thing looks like it finally wants to move higher. It's about to close here, too. What I'd like to see it do now is do a little bit of a pullback and then kind of retest the view app and move higher again, but I really want to take it long over the whole number. But just looking at the fives, you can see these wicks pulling it straight down. I finally closed over view app, too. I mean, we could be going anyway here. I think 80 is probably the new, new place to do this. If I do 80, the spread gets ridiculous, so I really don't want to do 100 shares because that could turn into a 70, 80 dollar loss really fast. Finally, be doing something here. Yeah, 80 is going to be a good spot because the most recent low here is this here at what 76. I have a feeling if we get to 80, we should be moving lower. Tighter and tighter. This 50 coming up on it, so now I don't want to short it. Now I do want to long it. And the nine's right here at 90. come back to it later. Okay, I'm looking at CL here, trying to take it long out of the triangle slash uh, symmetrical triangle that it's making. I want to take it at the high of day here. With 400, stop loss will be 30 cents. 
Just gotta break the 41st. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, I'm looking at Time Warner cable here. Looks like it wants to move down finally. I'm gonna have an order in for 250 at 44. My risk is going to be about 60. I'll say 58, because by the time it gets down there, it'll probably be about 58. Private target's gonna be, I think 20 is gonna be a good spot. But depending on what it does here, it could want to move higher as well. The only problem is the 9 EMA on the 5 is directly above it at, what is that, 73? So if it does break up, I mean, you can see these crazy wicks pulling it right back down underneath the VWAP. I'm thinking it's a much better short than it is a long. But if it wants to keep resetting, that's no problem with me. Just hope I get filled on this one. I don't like missing three trades on any given day. Cause 44 is going to be too far now because I wanted to get underneath the low of this candle here. But since this trend line is keeping moving up higher, 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 I mean. The proper entry is going to be somewhere like 55, which is 11 cents off of where I'm trying to get in. I really hate to make this my profit target. I mean, depending on what it does here, this is the close of the five minute candle right now. The sector is kind of directionless, it's not really doing much of anything. Okay, looks like it's going to close right on VWAP. Break 60, so 57. I can do 300 shares here. I'll go for 57 here. I don't want to make my size too huge here because if I am wrong, this thing can turn around against me here, and I'll end up with a with a pretty big loser pretty quickly. So if it wants to break underneath this here, my profit target will be this 40, 46 then. The volume's growing, it looks like it wants to move up. But I mean, same situation, you know, that 9's right there. Our 57 should definitely be a good entry. 60, it'll be about 63. And 46 is my profit target here. I am going to increase my size. So close. Could even do fifty eight now. Okay, 
Did I make my... I made my limit pretty tight. Uh, just in case I do want to move it up. I'm in at 55. Wow. So the worst possible price I got filled in. Problems with the limit order, I guess. Looks like I should keep moving. had crazy moves in the past here and it's had crazy spikes right back up so I mean could be seeing anything really Decent number of buyers there at 49. I guess it's enough to make it pop up. Definitely not in a bad trade right now. It's definitely looking really good. See, that was the close of the five minute here. Nine's coming down on it. We are below all of the moving averages. I know that 65 is a, is a significant daily level, as well as below 40 here. I mean, if it wants to move higher, it's going to have to break through three of these moving averages. Gotta click the button. If you got down there, just gotta click the button. Yeah, it's it's struggling. Volume's growing though. I definitely want to hold on to this one. Just kidding. If it comes right back to my entry though. Huge seller or something just entered. Come on. This thing's made runs in the past, so I feel like I should be holding on to this one. See that big run there, and then I guess what I really need to be careful of is any short squeezes coming in. But I feel like I can. Hold on to this one for a while here. It's 
big, nice drop. Alright, taking another half there. Volume shot is a little bit weak, but with this hundred, what I want to do is I want to play with my um, rule that I made at the beginning of last week. So you can see how this has nothing but red candles. Until this shows me a green candle, I'm not going to look to take any any profits or exit the trade anymore. So if it's going to keep showing me red, I want to stay in this. And it looks like, just looking at it, it could go somewhere about halfway between covering the whole last candle. So it could pop back up in the 40s. I mean that's a that's a big red volume candle there, so I think we're looking pretty good. Okay. Retesting the nine. thing go to the 50s. I don't think I want to let it even go to the 50s. So I'm going to put this in just in case. Actually, I'm going to make it even penny lower. Alright. It's showing weakness. I need to get out of this trade. Yeah, I'm all out. All out, 44 55 dollar trade. Okay, I am going to be done for the day, uh, finishing plus 55, somewhat of a disappointing day. Um, I couldn't short snap today. Snap was easily the best trade on the day. I was looking at a nice little triangle right here, the 20 coming down on it. Picture perfect, break underneath the VWAP. I mean, I tried to get filled in at this 53 here, because I know the low was 54, and I was thinking, okay, well, if it's going to break 54, it's probably going to keep moving. I mean, this thing never broke the 9 EMA until over here at 23, and I was going to take 500 shares on this. So, I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty good trade there, 53 to 23, 30 cents. I mean, I wouldn't have had full size at that point, but, I mean, that's, that's at least an $80 trade right there. Uh, ended up missing it. Looking at planets, uh, I believe it was like a bull flag right here. Just failed to get back up to 30. I wanted to see, I wanted to take it over... The, uh, the high of the day here at 30.01 had an order in at 30.02. Never got their bail on the trade. Uh, looked at not CTLW, looking at CL here. Um, kind of a, another symmetrical triangle, not really of a bull flag. Well, I mean, you know, I guess that's kind of a bull flag here. I wanted to take it long over 41. The high of the day was 40 at the time. I mean, my risk would have been about, I think, uh, I had 400 shares there, so, I mean, it went up to a high of 60, so, I mean, that's another, that probably would have been, I don't know, maybe a $60, $70 trade there. Um, I don't remember, TTWO was a pretty interesting one throughout the entire day, really. I was looking at some triangles in here for uh, taking it long for the break of the 119. I uh, was also looking at it short. I don't think... Ah, yes, that was it. I was looking at it short and long. Um, I wanted to take it short underneath 80 cents here, but during this time, I wasn't I wasn't at the computer. I think I went to say something to my girlfriend or something, then made a nice move down. I mean, I would have only taken 75 shares on it. Maybe at this point, taking 80. Probably still would have been something like... Uh, 
maybe 100 shares, but either way, it would have been a pretty solid trade here. I mean, don't exit until right about here, so I mean, I had plenty of areas to take profits. And the only trade that I did end up taking today was TWX. Took it short on the break of, I can probably get rid of all of these now. Took it short under the break of these. this triangle here. I uh, got filled at 55. Wanted to get in at 57, I think it was. I was either 57 or 58. Uh, only 400 shares. Kind of the same situation. I didn't want to get too crazy big size on it because I know just looking at past candles, this thing, I mean, you know, this candle here, you know, I don't want any of that to happen to me, obviously. But I mean, it made a made a slow drop to start and then it kind of bounced off of this 49 right underneath the 50 cent area and then once it broke that made a real nice move down to uh, in the 20s the low 20s there but I only ended up taking 100 shares off down there and then it started showing weakness as it came back up I mean I think it was last week where I noticed that in all my trade that I could have held on to all of them had a really good stretch of same colored candles so my plan for this one was, until I see, you know, an opposite colored candle, I'm not going to be looking to exit this trade. And then, you know, it does, and it covers, like, more than half the move there, and then you get a little doji, and then I said, okay, well, volume's sitting out. This thing's not very strong anymore, so I'm just going to get out. And it was the right choice. I mean, it came all the way back up to view app, and then continuing to move higher. But today was a pretty slow day. Uh, seems like this week has been really slow. I, I went to the computer yesterday, but, I mean, I, I didn't see a single thing the entire time, so... Just ended up leaving the computer early. Um, up 55 on the day, not bad. Still down, what would that be? I'm still down like 80 on the week, probably. Two more days to recover it, though. Just got to practice and keep running with stuff. Um, I don't know. Happy with myself that I was seeing the trades, you know, sit in front of me and just upsetting that I didn't get filled on most of them. You know, today could have been a really, really nice green day. But just the way it is, just the trading lifestyle, I guess. So, finishing green. Be back again tomorrow. Thanks for watching.